before we start, I have a question for you guys. Which monitor are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Asus ProArt PA278QV – Best for Most People The best monitor in the budget category for graphic design and other works we've tested is the Asus ProArt Display PA278QV. It's a professional-looking model with a large 27-inch screen and a 1440p resolution. Its simple design fits easily into any office setting and its superb ergonomics allow you to adjust it however you like. The Asus ProArt Display PA278QV is a very good budget-friendly monitor that's intended for creative professionals. Its superb ergonomics, high peak brightness and wide viewing angles make it a good fit for nearly any type of workspace. It comes with a good color accuracy out of the box and it has an excellent SDR color gamut. However, it can't display a wide color gamut and it doesn't support HDR. Its Adobe RGB coverage is only decent and may not be good enough for professional photo editors. Its response time, however, is great and it has an optional black frame insertion feature and its native 75Hz refresh rate makes motion look slightly more fluid, such as when scrolling quickly through a document or when gaming. It supports adaptive sync to reduce screen tearing and it's compatible with FreeSync and G-Sync sources. Number 4. BenQ SW271 – Best for Professional Use The BenQ SW271 is among the most purchased monitors for photo editing and you've likely seen its name popping up numerous times on the internet, which is yet another good proof that depicts how quality this monitor actually is. First and foremost, the design is gorgeous. It has plenty more amazing features as well that you should check out. I really like the cabinet and the overall build quality because BenQ has done a great job in implementing thin bezels and an ergonomic stand that offers 45 degrees of swivel in each direction. Tilt for 20 degrees backwards, 5 degrees forward and 150 millimeters of height adjustment. The BenQ SW271 has a total of three input ports for connecting your devices two HDMI 2.0, one DisplayPort 1.4, and one Thunderbolt USB Type-C port. These are quite sufficient to connect a number of different devices. Moreover, what makes the SW271 successful is not only its 4K resolution, but the colors. To be more precise, this unit includes dedicated modes for sRGB, Rec. 709, DCI-P3, Adobe RGB, and since it supports HDR, the blacks and whites will be increased so that the end result will be truly spectacular. Colors are very accurate and look vibrant, so I can easily say that this unit is one of the most accurate displays that you can encounter on the market. Number 3. Dell S2721Q – Best Mid-Range Monitor as compared to its predecessor, the P2721Q, this one features a much more modern, minimalist design. Screen bezels on the top and two sides are significantly thinner and they're no longer raised up from the screen. This is helpful if you want to set up a multi-monitor setup. Besides, all control buttons are no longer placed on the front or bottom of the screen. Instead, Dell uses only one power button and a joystick on the back to adjust image settings. You can easily find the controls with your pointing or middle finger really appreciate the change because it removes a lot of distraction when looking at the display. It has a large screen with a 4K resolution, good ergonomics and wide viewing angles making it a great choice for nearly any office environment. It has low input lag, a fast response time, VRR support that provides a good gaming experience. It has full coverage of the sRGB color space but its color accuracy is just okay out of the box. The contrast ratio is low and there's some backlight bleed so it isn't ideal for dark rooms. Overall, the S2721Q brings a reliable, colorful image along with some great features to help sweeten the pot. In the 27-inch budget 4K category, it's a top contender. Number 2. LG 27UL500 – Best Budget 4K IPS Monitor The best 4K budget monitor on this list is the LG 27UL500, which provides a beautiful set of features with a super attractive design and powerful performance to impress every user. LG's quality is proven time and time again, so you should rest assured when it comes to that. And if you need the best 4K monitor that's on a budget, this is your best option. Let's take a look at it. The first thing you'll notice about the LG 27UL500 is its amazing design that was also present on the 27UL650, but with some interesting differences that give this one its character. 
The OT27 UL500 has a perfect matte white body, coupled with a beautiful silver stand that gives it a more refreshing look, especially compared to other matte black designs that we see everywhere. The biggest difference from this one and the other one, though, is the lack of bezels on the top and sides. It's very attractive, refined, and very well thought out. The LG27 UL500 is armed with a 27-inch in-plane switching panel with a 10-bit color depth, providing about 100% of the sRGB color space. It has some beautiful viewing angles thanks to the IPS nature of the panel, and the color consistency is quite good. The HDR performance is perfect as well, with great brightness and deep blacks. Beautiful overall, this is one of the most useful monitors out there. Number 1. ISO CG279X Best High-End Monitor This ISO CG279X screen is at the top of the ISO 27-inch monitor hierarchy and therefore part of the Color Edge range. At first glance, this is the best 27-inch screen with only the 4K missing. QHD, Matte Panel, Adobe RGB, Rec 2020, HDR, HLG, Lookup Table or LUT, 10 over 16 bits. To this, you add an automated internal calibration and validation of it all by current certifications, ISO 12646 standards, and its custom shading hood. Everything to make it a reference screen. The ISO has a DisplayPort 1.3 connection, an HDMI 1.4 port, and a DVI-D connector, and around the rear there are two USB 2 ports and a USB 3.1 Type-C port that supports DisplayPort and provides 15 watts of power. There are two more USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, and they're helpfully positioned on the left-hand bezel. The ISO has superb image quality, and it also impresses elsewhere. It's packed with features. It has virtually every setting required for print, photography, and video, including HDR. It's got self-calibration, a huge number of OSD options, and decent connectivity and adjustment. It's also not perfect. There could be better connectivity. That contrast could be a little higher, and some people may prefer a 4K screen for its improved space and sharpness. If you don't need 4K, but you do need near-perfect colors alongside loads of features, then the ISO ColorRed CG279X is a superb option for creative professionals. Buying Guide Size The size of your monitor is always one of the most important features of it, especially when you're buying a 4K monitor. This is important for the pixel density aspect of the monitor and the size aspect of the monitor, since not every monitor will fit into your desk space. So check out the size and determine if it's good enough for you. Panel Type The panel type of panel tech is an important factor as well because different panel types have different features. There are generally IPS panels, TN panels, and VA panels. IPS is generally better for colors and viewing angles, TN is better for speed and responsiveness, and VA is something in between both of them, so choose accordingly. Refresh Rate Ideally, you want to monitor with at least a 75Hz refresh rate combined with the lowest response time you can find. Refresh rate is particularly important for gamers, so most gaming monitors have a refresh rate of at least 120Hz, the fastest available is 360Hz, and you'll want a maximum response time 